Something else you can do from within a cache page is if you scroll down, you'll see that there's a little Google map. And if you click on the view larger map icon, you actually see a Google map of all the geocaches in that particular area. So each one of those little icons represents a cache in that specific area. Now, if you're a premium member, you have some extra options available to you, like filtering. But basically, you can get an idea of what the cache density is for a particular area by bringing up the Google map. Right? So as I zoom out, I can see more caches. And as I click on one of them, all right, I can actually get more information about it. So for every cache that's out there, I just click it, whether it's a traditional, a puzzle, or any of them. Right? It's quite easy. Once you click on the actual puzzle or cache itself, it actually brings up the page in a new window. So now you can scroll through and actually look at the specifics of that particular cache right from the Google map. This makes it pretty easy to find caches in your area that you haven't found.